You know, textbook troubles are getting worse in schools all across North Carolina, including Buncombe County. State funding for textbooks has been cut by 80 percent during the past four years. News 13's Karen Wynn joins us. Karen, with so much teaching material now online, are textbook cuts still a big problem? Larry, Buncombe County educators say yes they are. With nearly a quarter of Buncombe County students without home computer internet access, teachers rely on the textbooks more than many think. Cotton no longer king. At T.C. Robertson High, the textbook is king in Mr. Carpenter's history class. But Buncombe County school leaders say many textbooks in the county and the state are out of date and no longer match many courses curriculum. There are high school classes that have no textbooks aligned to the curriculum. Eric Grant is a curriculum specialist with Buncombe County Schools. He says none of the 6th and 7th grade social studies books match the new curriculum either, leaving teachers on their own. Teachers spend a lot of time both in school, at home, fishing resources off the internet, uh, cobbling together whatever book money they can, they can get from their school, which is very limited. In the 2009-2010 school year, the state provided over $111 million to buy textbooks. State budget cuts slashed that amount to only $23 million each year for the past three years. But even in this booming digital age, Grant says going online is no substitute for up-to-date textbooks yet. We don't have a digital resource for every student. We're not ready to put all of our materials online or have students access all those materials online. And this worries parents like Christy Swing. Obviously, everything needs to match and be up to speed on the curriculum. But, um, you know, my kids are just first grade. But with the future in mind, it does concern me. It will undoubtedly affect how well our, our students perform and how much they learn. So, yeah, I'm, I'm concerned about this. Eric Grant says there are ways that parents can help somewhat. They can encourage their kids to read on their own after school and also donate any money they can to the Buncombe County Schools Foundation.